Hey, it's Marbler here, and today we're going to be looking at the setup I used to go to Bowser in the Sky in zero A presses. A lot of height to ascend, a lot of misalignments. So first things first, dive recover onto this step. Nothing special, just a dive recover. We go into Mario Cam, and we start sidling on this wall. We pause and go neutral. This causes Mario to be in the standing against wall animation, perfectly in the alcove of both of these corners. We go into first person, zoom out twice, spam C right, till the camera comes to a rest, and then let the camera come to a rest after we stop spamming C right. Then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna hold left until Mario's shadow covers this intersection. Not quite there yet though, we do want Mario's feet to come in line with each other, just like that. Then we hold down, right up until Mario's shadow covers this intersection here. We hold right until Mario's shadow comes flush with this line here. We hold neutral for three frames, which is what it takes for Mario to go into free fall. We hold down for two frames, and then we hold up until Mario ledge grabs. Just like that, that gets us up. So let's look at that in real time. Pause buffer so that we walk at max speed. One more frame. Just like that, we hold down. One more frame. Hold right. Uh, that's one more frame. And we did two frames, so we'll try that again. That's perfect. That's perfect. One more frame. And we did not get the second pause. Perfect, 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 and hold up. So that's the first one. Now these next three steps, the normalizing is going to be the exact same the whole time. So we sidle up against the wall, we press C up into close Mario cam until the camera comes to a rest, and since it's stuck up against this wall, what's going to happen is the camera won't try to reset. That's what we want. So now we zoom in and we zoom out. Camera gets stuck right here. We zoom out two more times. And then we spam C right again up until it does this. We go neutral and then we do zoom out one more time. So this gets the camera into a perfectly normalized position. This is the starting base, the exact same for all three steps. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna punch the wall just like that. Then we're going to hold straight down up until Mario's shadow comes flush with these two lines. This movement is the same for three step for all three steps as well, um, but the texture cue is different for the third step. So we want Mario's shadow, it'll be covering this one a little bit, it'll be flush with this one, but basically you want it to be touching both of these lines at the same time. So keep going down, then we go neutral, then we punch, and then we go into first person. From here, we Z turn left, first person again, and zoom out twice. So that's our setup to normalize Mario right on the edge. So let's watch that in real time. Just like that, punch, first person, Z turn left. And then the cue that you know you got the Z turn correctly is that this corner of the next step comes right in line with the corner of Mario's cap here. So zoom out twice, and now we're in position here. So this setup also, very convenient. It's roughly the same for all three steps. Couple details are a little bit different between the steps, but so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna punch until Mario, the camera points down to indicate that Mario is off the ledge. Then we're going to dive back on the ledge. We care about five frames. For this first one, we're going to be holding right for the first three of those five frames. And you can see corner lining up with the other corner of Mario's cap here. And then we go neutral for the other two, four, five. On the second and third step, we're just going to hold left the whole five frames. But on this first one, it's a little bit different. Hold left for three frames, neutral for two. Then, this one's the same for all, th all three of the steps. We dive recover while holding 
all the way right for four frames. So one, two, three, four. And you can see the camera points down, Mario's shadow disappears. This indicates that Mario's off the edge. For this first one, we just go neutral until Mario lands. For the second one, we go neutral for three frames and then hold up until Mario lands. For the third one, we go neutral. We hold up for two frames and then go neutral until Mario lands. So a little bit different between three steps. Concepts roughly the same. So let's watch that in real time. Uh, we punch until Mario falls off. On this one, it's three frames. So here's one. Come on. There's one. And then we want to. Uh, go two more frames, so we'll do a two frame pause buffer, just like that. We dive on and pause after three frames. That was two. Three, we see the corners lined up with Mario's cap. We go neutral for two more frames. That was three, so let's try that again. Uh, if you fail the setup, you have to do the whole normalization again. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. So there's that. Now we dive recover while holding right for four frames. That was way more than four frames. Just like that. And then sometimes when I hold forward, Mario goes airborne and then lands. Doesn't really affect anything. I don't like it though, so I punch forward before moving. Not too bad. So again, setup's the exact same. We go first person, zoom out twice, spam C right, camera comes to rest, let it come to rest again, zoom out, punch, hold down, and this time, again, we're looking for Mario's shadow to be touching both of these checkerboard lines at the same time. That's what we're looking for. So let's do that again. Just like that. Punch. First person. Z turn left. First person again. And we see corner lined up with Mario's cap. That means we know we did it right. Zoom out twice. And here's the setup for the next one. So now on this one, again, we're punching until Mario falls off. This, time's, this time it's four frames. So one, two, three, four. We dive back on. This time we're going to hold left for all five of the frames. One, two, three, four, five. Hold right and dive recover off for one, two, three, four frames. And this time we go neutral for three frames. And you know three frames have passed if you see Mario's shadow reappear. And then we just hold forward for the remainder of the movement. And you see Mario gets back on. So let's see that in real time. That's three. And if you mess up, just do the normalization again. So that's two. And there's five. There's three. Let's go one more. Four. And we go neutral for three. And hold on. Just like that. Now we set this up one more time. First person, zoom out, zoom out twice, hold right, and rest again. Zoom out one more time, and that's our normalization. This time, though, we're going to be looking for Mario's shadow should be centered on this intersection. That's what we're looking for, right there. So let's watch that in real time. That didn't feel right. And this should be two frames away, just like that. And we go neutral, punch, first person, Z turn left. And we know Mario's facing the right way if this corner intersects with Mario's cap. So we zoom out twice, and that's the normal normalization for here. So this time when we punch off, again, we're going until Mario falls off, but it's five frames this time, so there's five. We dive back on for five frames, one, two, three, four, five. We dive recover off for four frames to the right, one, two, three, four. This time we hold up for two frames and neutral the remaining. So let's watch that in real time. So here's one, three, five. There's three, 
five. There's three, four, and we did not get the second pause. So that would really suck if that happened. That has happened to me many times. So let's try that again. There's, I think that was three. So there's four, or excuse me, yeah, that, that makes the five camera pointed down. Mario landed. One, three, five, three, two, uh, I think that was two. Ah, uh, no, that isn't right. So then we would land back and try again. Four. There's three, five. That was three, so let's look for a fourth. That was two of them. And let's hold forward for two frames. There's two, and neutral. So now here's where it starts to get really tricky. We're going to go into first person. And we're not going into far Mario Cam. We're staying in close Mario Cam the whole time. So we're going to Z-turn left. And then we're going to Z-turn forward. This might sound like it does nothing. It doesn't. It actually turns Mario by a quarter of the full amount that it can turn on any given frame of walking. Then we're going to go crouch. And we're just going to hold right until Mario falls off and gets back in the misalignment. Very convenient how that works out. And you know he's in the misalignment because the camera pans up. So from here, we ground pound and just hold forward. Now this sticks Mario in this butt slide animation. So we go into Lakitu Cam. Close Lakitu Cam. And we wait for it to come to a rest. And then we do C left this time and just keep holding forward the whole time. Eventually, he clips through. So let's watch that in real time again. So we Z turn left, we Z turn forward. Just like that. And now there's no way to know if you did it right. There's also no way to reset. So regardless of if you think you did it right again, or right or not, just keep trying anyway. So now we hold right. Uh, that looks like it's two frames away. Just like that. Now when we unpause, we ground pound the same frame. And we did not ground pound. A little tricky. Just like that. Mario ledge grabbed. That's okay. You can see this part. It's tricky to do. Very precise, very tight. However, it's also safe. You're in no danger of falling off. You s you'll simply have to do that third step again if you fail it. That's okay. So we go one more frame. Hold up to stay on. up and we go into close lackey to camp C left and just keep holding up until Mario clips them so I hope that helps thank you for watching and good luck <laughs>